Welcome to Train Signal. I'm Ross Bagertis, and in this video, I'm going to be introducing subnetting. Now, subnetting is actually one of my favorite topics. I really do like the nerdy math behind it. I like seeing how it operates. It's pretty slick stuff. However, subnetting is somewhat math heavy, and many of us have a poor experience with math at some point in our past, thinking back to trigonometry or calculus or some other math, maybe it's even algebra. Uh, now, subnetting math is not actually that complicated, but what it does take is some practice. And what I want to do in this video is show you how to tackle this concept of subnetting, which is actually just a big giant hack that we'd applied to our IP version 4 addressing so that we could extend the life of that address space. Now there are lots of ways to teach subnetting and I've seen several of them, I've taught several of them. I have settled on this version for teaching new people how to subnet and I, what I really do is take a deep dive into the binary so we can really see what's going on here. And the reason I take you into this deep dive into the binary when we're doing subnetting is because that's where all of the magic of subnetting actually happens. There are other shortcuts you can learn where you don't have to convert to binary. And those are fine. However, what I find is that when we're talking about subnetting, subnetting is just one piece of a puzzle of something much larger, which is IP addressing and manipulating IP addresses with masks of some kind either a subnet mask in this case, or later on, we're gonna talk about how to write access control lists and we'll learn a new mask called a wildcard mask. If you know how to do the subnet mask in binary, you can do everything else in IP addressing without a problem. If you learn how to do it using only decimal numbers, what ends up happening is you have to learn a little bit of a new method every time you tackle a different kind of IP addressing thing, right, manipulation with masks. You have to learn a new skill in order to accomplish that. Once we dive into it into binary, you learn the nitty gritty details of how subnetting works and you can be a master at IP addressing, at least IP version 4 addressing, while we still use it which is extremely heavily and will be for at least the next five, six, seven, eight years to come. So let's dive into it. 